it's not your fault you're not losing weight it is not your fault for not losing weight hey beautiful souls merv here and i help you live a healthier and happier life with hypnosis welcome to my youtube channel and today's topic is going to be about five reasons why you are not losing weight ah why am i not losing weight i get so many clients i get so many of my friends and family that ask me all the time Merv, I'm not losing weight. Why am I not losing weight? I'm doing everything possible to lose weight and I'm not losing weight. I've tried every diet possible. I um, have tried starving myself. I have tried uh, Weight Watchers. I have tried Keto Diet. I've tried, like, you name it, I've tried it and I'm not losing weight. Why am I not losing weight? I will share with you the five reasons why it's not your fault for not losing weight. So my story is I'm Middle Eastern, I'm curvy and I'm thick, and if I smell food, I gain weight. So this is exactly how I lived. I've always been athletic, played sports my whole life. I used to eat everything that I wanted really, but because I'm always burning, burning it off uh, through exercise or working out or even playing sports uh, in school, I stay fit basically, right? But I grew up most of my life on, on, on dieting. Okay, what's the next diet? Oh, okay, it's gonna you know, be low carbs or low this or low that. And then it took me a while to understand my body and it took me a while on what works for my body and what doesn't work with my body. I am from Jersey, but I was living in Dubai for six years. And then I hit, and again, I, I was crossfitting and athletic and playing sports and, and, and you know, my eating habits were pretty okay, but I, I still was in that mentality, diet mentality of losing weight and gaining weight. So when I hit rock bottom and I went through that depression the last year in Dubai, I basically just went binging on food. I, I just started to eat everything and anything that I wanted to eat, right? And, and that's because I kind of gave up on myself or just you know staying healthy or working out or eating healthier like I used to, how I used to live. So I just kind of like was depressed and I just didn't care anymore. So I gave up on myself and I gained so much weight so much weight that I've ever gained in my entire life. So mind you, I'm like 5'2", a fun size, and and whoever looked at me could tell that I gained so much weight and they knew something was wrong. But I made I made depression look so, so damn good because I was still positive. The point of the story is that I've been there. I've been where you are. I've been where, I, and I know the feeling of wanting to lose weight and not knowing why or not knowing why I'm not losing weight, right? I'm, 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 I'm doing the diet, I'm working out, I'm exercising, but I'm not losing weight. Like, what is it that I'm doing that is not working? So the first reason on why you're not losing weight is decide that you want to do this once and for all for you. Again, this is very important. Decide that you wanna do this once and for all for, all for you. You really have to decide that you want to do this for yourself. You, you're really not, not caring for yourself. You're like, yeah, I'll lose weight whenever. Yeah, I'll try to lose weight for two days and then you give up. Yeah, I lose weight for seven days and then I give up. That's because you really don't want it. You really do not want it. So that's one of the, re that's the first reason is you have to want it. You have to lose, you have to want to lose weight. So for me, when I came back to Jersey and I, I moved back from Dubai to Jersey, and I was, I was very, very much depressed, I made it a point that I find out why the hell am I in that diet mentality? Why am I depressed? Why do I keep gaining weight? Why am I binge eating? Why am I emotionally eating? Why am I um, eating like two bags of chips a day? Like legit, this was me. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still love chips, but, uh, but within moderation. <laughs> I'm like, why can't I lose weight? So I wanted to make sure I discover who I am and what's not working for me. So I made it a point that I compromise on my life, I compromise big time on going out, going dining, uh, traveling, um, and, and making it a point that I understand myself and I go and, and kind of detox from all the junk food and all the sugars and all the, the carbs and, and the, the salty food that I used to binge on and eat, right? So I went ahead and I, I exper experimented so much with myself that I, that I knew exactly what worked for me. And again, saying yes to self, I made it a point, I compromised, I cut everything out of my life as far as like toxic, not adding value, food, um, you know, sleeping late, 
Um, so, so I made sure that all of this worked for me and because I wanted to lose weight, because I wanted to know what's working for me and what's not working. And this is obviously when I went into becoming a health coach and a life coach and came across hypnosis. And all of this played a factor in who I am today about weight loss and my, my mentality on weight loss. And I've maintained my weight for like two years now. So I go up a couple pounds, lose a couple pounds, but like I'm maintaining because I maintained the lifestyle that, that works for me and the way I eat. And I basically eat everything that I want. So I don't deprive myself on certain foods. I'm able to eat whatever I want in that. And that took time to get there because I worked so hard on myself. It's deciding that you don't want to live like this anymore, which I did. I decided that I don't want to live like this anymore. I want to change my life. Now, the second reason is understanding how your mind or your brain works. Understanding how your brain works. Your brain works based on three things. The environment around you, the deadlines, I have to do this, I have to do that. The, the time, like what's my deadline? What time do I have? How long do I have until I, I finish this or I lose weight or how long is the diet? The third thing is body image, right? So feeling fat, feeling bloated, feeling skinny. Oh, I don't feel good in my own skin. Oh, I feel fat. These are the three factors that play a big role in our brains and our minds. So you must understand how your brain works. Reason number three, your mind cannot comprehend so much change all at once. Like I, I mean, obviously guilty as charged. I used to do this and my clients do this when they come to me. But like, Merv, I'm ready. Tomorrow I'm gonna lose weight. I'm gonna go on a diet. I'm gonna sign up to a gym. I'm gonna break up with my, you know, toxic relationship uh, partner. I'm gonna buy uh, new clothes that don't fit me because when I lose weight, I wanna actually fit in those clothes, right? How many of you do that? I am so sorry to tell you, you're only putting yourself to fail by putting all these rules and regulations on your brain and on your mind all at once. I'm not saying they're not doable, they are doable, but not at once. The mind needs time to comprehend one change at a time, right? And I'm sure you heard of this, like it takes 21 days to change a habit, or it takes 30 days, or it takes 40 days, or it takes 60 days. The point is habit change needs time, right? One habit at a time. You cannot change a thousand habits all at once. The mind is only gonna give up. It's gonna get overwhelmed, and you're just gonna be like, you know what, I'm not gonna do this shit. This is too much work. Right, correct, you, you can't do it. It's humanly impossible to do it all at once. So you go ahead and you, put, you pick just one thing. You pick just one thing that works for your mind and losing weight or changing, changing a habit or changing your life, right? So once, so once you choose that one thing, like for example, you can say starting tomorrow for the next week, I'm going to um, slow down on sugar intake, right? If you eat sugar every day, Try to slow down on sugar, eat sugar in the morning instead of at night, or eat sugar every other day instead of every single day. So, you know, within moderation, right? You can't go cold turkey because your body is addicted to this stuff. You're just going to put yourself to fail. So you have to go within moderation. Reason number four is you are living in the fear all the time. You're fearing losing weight, you're fearing gaining weight, you're fearing relationships you're fearing jobs you always have that fear and that fear and that worry only you're like you're like in a fight or flight mode all the time and that reason is not gonna make you lose weight because you're always worried you're always stressed you're always afraid right to take that next step or to try something new or to cut you know the sugar out of your life you're afraid right so we have that fear and if we have that fear that we're living in uh, on a daily basis, how do you expect the mind to comprehend and focus on losing weight? If you're fearing that subconsciously, right? If you're fearing that subconsciously, please go ahead and download below my free MP3 hypnosis on letting go of negativity. The fifth reason on why you're not losing weight is because you must be three things. Clients of mine that come to me and they're like, yeah, I want to lose weight, but Merv, I don't want to stop drinking. I don't want to, you know, sleep early. I still want to go out and party. I still want to eat burgers all the time. I still want to eat sugar all the time. I don't want to work out. I don't want to go to the gym. I don't want to move every day. So I'm sorry. 
Like, why? <laughs> How are you supposed to lose weight and you have rules and regulations, right? Opposed to someone else, another client comes to me and they're like, Merv, I will do anything you ask, you ask me of. I will do whatever it takes for me to lose weight if you have that system that works. I am ready to be coachable. I am ready to take action and get out of my comfort zone. And I am ready to stay positive at all times because with every journey, you and I know that we have our ups and downs, right? You're going to feel down. You're going to feel demolished. You're going to feel like you want to give up, but you must stay positive at all times because that's the only way you're going to be able to, to get through this journey or survive, sur or survive it, right? So you must be coachable able to be coachable, able to, to follow the rules and follow what's, what's the system is asking you to do. Because once you follow the rules, you're going to get to your destination. You must come out of your comfort zone, right? Get out of your comfort zone and, and take action and try something that you haven't. No, 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 I can't survive without sugar. Well, that's because you're comfortable. You're so comfortable. Your whole life you've been comfortable with sugar. How about we get out of our comfort zone and it's going to be hard and I'm not going to, and I'm not saying it's going to be easy. It's going to be hard. Get out of your comfort zone and try something different. You're only going to get better. You're only going to feel better. And once you get over that comfort zone and you get discomfort and you get uncomfortable and you take that action, you're only going to feel so amazing. So amazing by doing that. Saying no to sugar or saying no to carbs or saying no to, to, um, to, to binge eating at night and staying positive at all times while going through this journey. Beautiful souls, I hope you enjoyed this. Please go ahead and subscribe below, share and like with whoever you think can benefit from this video today. I love you all, peace and love.